today's video, I'm going to show you how to reinstate the power following your RCD tripping. If you've had loss of power or total loss of power, it's quite likely that it's the RCD that's tripping. I'm going to walk you through some simple steps into identifying what the root cause is and how to get the power back on. Tools that's going to be needed today is a finger and a working lamp. First things first, I'm going to show you what an RCD looks like and where you'll find it. Okay, so this is where you will find your RCD. It will be inside or next to your consumer unit. With this one, I've got a dual RCD fuse board, which essentially means that all the circuits that's in the house has been divided into two and split across RCD1 and RCD2. This RCD governs the circuits that's next one, two, and three, which is cooker, sockets, lights, first floor, and you can see that it's down. These circuits are on, so this RCD is holding up, so it's not affected by what's happening on this side of the board. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn off each of these breakers which this RCD is controlling. I'm then gonna re-energize the RCD. And that's step one, to make sure that this RCD is actually holding in the on position, because what that's telling us is that this RCD is working, and if we push this test button, it's functioning correctly. So it's tripping for a reason, the fault isn't the RCD. And to be honest with you, it hardly ever is. The most common reason for it to start tripping is because of an appliance, um, whether that's a kettle or a dodgy pair of air straighteners. Um, I would say that nine times out of 10, it is something that's got a heating element in, which can include a dishwasher or a washing machine, um, especially a kettle because of the line scale buildup. So now we know that our RCD is working, we're gonna turn these on one by one. What that'll tell us, is a process of elimination, whether it's the cooker, the sockets, or the lighting on the first floor that's got the fault. Oh, look at that. All right, fantastic. So it's the sockets that's got the fault. So now what we're gonna do is move on to the next step, which is to have a look at the sockets and see if we can identify what appliance that's plugged in that's causing it to trip. We're gonna leave this off. We're gonna turn all of these off. And then we're going to have a little mooch about and see what we're looking at in terms of appliances. All right, so we've left the RCD off and the circuit breakers. Now what we're going to do is have a look at our sockets, see what's plugged in and identify if it's an appliance that's causing the fault. Nine times out of ten, it is an appliance causing the fault. So we're going to unplug everything and then we're going to re-energize the circuit. All right. So I'm gonna go around, stick my head under the cupboards, and I have to make sure that everything is unplugged. I'm gonna unplug. Not sure what it is. Ice cube machine, the kettle. Unplug the toaster. It's my dishwasher unplugged. All right, so we've unplugged everything. Now we're gonna use our tool of the day, which is a light fitting. I know it's worked, I've tested it on the other circuit which is on. Um, so we're gonna use this tool of the day lamp and we're gonna turn it on. And then we're gonna start turning on the um, circuit breakers. All right, so we go back to the fuse board now. All right, so we've unplugged everything. We've turned our trusty lamp on and now we're gonna reset this RCD once again with these circuits turned off still. So we know that our RCD is working because we've pressed the test button and we know that it's functioning. We're gonna turn these circuit breakers on one by one. Our cooker's working, all right? So, so far, we've managed to get our cooker working when before we had no power, all right? Now we're gonna go onto the sockets. Have a look. There you are. Good old lamps on. So, so far, we've got the cooker on and the sockets on, and we now are gonna turn these lights on. Okay, beautiful, all right. 
we know that there's a problem with the socket. Okay, I'm going to plug these appliances in one by one and wait until it trips out at the fuse box, okay? So we'll start with our ice machine. Turn this on. Beautiful, that's working. If this was the faulty appliance, it would trip out the power and our lamp would turn off. Lock it off, plug it in, turn it on. I'm gonna move over to this here. Carving knife, I think. Made in China, like everything else. I'm gonna turn it on. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna remove it from the stand because our RCD has stripped the appliance that's 40 is still plugged in. And watch what happens when I try and reset this RCD. Turn the sockets off. Reset the RCD. It's holding with the sockets turned off because now there's no power going to these sockets. It's not good enough to just turn it off. You need to unplug it, okay? Unplug it. RCD's up, turn the sockets on. Look who's turned up. Okay, so what that's told us is, is that my, I'm gonna call it a carving knife, my carving knife is faulty and either needs to be repaired or thrown away. Okay, for the next video, I'm gonna be replacing a faulty LED downlight, something that the wife has been complaining about for quite a few days now, possibly weeks. So stay tuned, it's a really simple process, quick and easy. Um, I'll show you just how it's done. If you like the video, please share, put the bell on, whatever it is, and subscribe. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.